good morning. It's Thursday the 1st of December 2022 and I've come to Tibshell to start today's walk. Tibshelf is a village in Derbyshire's Bowles River district and was the site of the UK's first inland oil well. In the 19th century, when coal was discovered, coal mining overtook agriculture as the primary industry in the area, and a local railway system was developed. Two deep mines were sunk, but were under threat of closure for a number of years after a partial cave-in. This is the parish church of St John the Baptist, which dates from the early 13th century. It would have been nice to have had a look inside this church, but the doors are locked unfortunately, so I'll just get on with the walk. From the high street, I turned left along Wetton Lane, following the sign for Saw Pit Lane. of a murky one this morning. I think that's the forecast for all today. I don't know this week is great weather-wise. I mean, my last walk on Monday was, was okay. It sort of brightened up by the time I'd finished the walk, but it was a dry day, that's the main thing. Tuesday was so misty, uh, but it was nice to have a lying in bed then. So I sort of resigned myself to the fact that I knew it was going to be misty on Tuesday, so I thought, well, I won't try and film a walk then. I'll just have a bit of a lying, which was nice. And uh, Wednesday, I was hoping to go out, which was yesterday, but uh, for whatever reason, things just didn't happen. Um, so I've come out today, first day of December, and it's nice to do a walk around Tibshelf, because, again, Tibshelf is a place that I come to a lot when I'm working, but not very often in my own time. So, and of course, this today, for me, is a totally new walk. So, well, I've plotted myself, just over five miles, I think. So let's see how it goes. This must be Saw Pit Lane. Yeah. Okay. This is where I turn right then. Just through the trees, I mean, I can hear the motorway close by anyway. The M1's very close to us today. And we're just through the trees, is Tip Shell Services on the M1. Saw Pit Lane eventually emerged onto the busier Newton Wood Lane with some traffic lights. I went right here to cross the bridge over the course of an old railway, today part of the Silver Hill Trail. I could clearly see the M1 close by at this point. At the far side of the bridge, I entered the village of Newton, one of four villages that make up the civil parish of Blackwell, the other villages being Blackwell, Hillcote and West Houses. At a bend in the road, I went through a gate to take a footpath next to the first in a row of houses. Through a second gate, I entered fields as my path took me closer and closer to the motorway.
walking very close to the M1 now. I should be walking alongside it in a minute. Well, as we've had quite a, a murky old week with the weather, and it's got quite muddy underfoot, I've had to give in and put my gaiters on this morning. I have to say, I'm not a personal fan of gaiters, but they serve their purpose, so I had to put them on today. <laughs> eventually emerged onto Huthwaite Lane, along which I went right to walk into the next village. Jedediah Strutt, 1726 to 1797, born in South Normanton and living at Newton, inherited the stock and tenancy the Three Lane End Farm at Blackwell in 1754. He described the charms of Old Blackwell in a letter to Elizabeth Woollett, in the hope she would leave London and join him. In 18th century Old Blackwell, life as a framework knitter was tough. To make ends meet, the whole family would have been employed in the manufacture of stockings. The father would work on the knitting frame and the wife and children would spin and sew. The hours were long and working conditions were cramped, uncomfortable and dangerous. At a right-hand bend in the road, I followed Church Hill straight ahead. Soon I reached St Werberg's Church, built in 1827 to 1828. This church is open, however, unfortunately there's a funeral going on at the moment, so I think it would be in very poor taste if I went in now, so I'll move on. <laughs> Next to the church, I followed the path descending across a field. At the bottom, I crossed Hillcote Lane to another path opposite, where I continued to head downhill. Being at the church back there just reinforced a point that I was making last time and that's that I have to be very careful what I film and how I film it. I mean obviously if I'm at a church where there's a funeral going on I would never dream of filming people at the church so just now I took a few shots of the exterior of the church there were no people in it obviously I didn't film the funeral because that really would have been in poor taste. Um, I didn't go inside the church because obviously if there were people from the funeral inside that would still have been in poor taste in my opinion. So I just took a few discreet shots of the exterior of the church and I had no people in it at all. So that's where I've got to be very careful, particularly at, you know, at an occasion like that. of easy walking for a while now then, as I walk along this trail. I was now following a section of the Blackwell Trail, which is footpath links to Briley Forest Park, West Houses and Blackwell. The trail is part of the Phoenix Greenways, 
a network of easy access off-road trails and quiet lanes that run through Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire. Once old railways and collieries, the trails are rising like a phoenix from the ashes of industry. Having emerged onto Ford Bridge Lane, I followed the road to another path, which led me into Blackwell. Here I came across a local mining monument. To honour and respect all those who worked at A Winning Colliery, Blackwell, 1871 to 1969. That's a great emblem to Blackwell's history, isn't it? Wonderful. Turning left along Gloves Lane, I followed this as it led me out of the village. Gloves Lane, looking on the OS map, I can see that it goes to Stonebroom. So it must have been an old road at one time that vehicles could drive up and down between Blackwell and Stonebroom. Of course, uh, you can't drive along it now. <laughs> but it's nice that it's still open as a public right of way. Quite pleasant walking along here. This is where I leave Gloves Lane. You can see a little bit of old railway track there. Yeah. So just a little bit. I suppose at one time this must have been a level crossing on Gloves Lane. So I'm now going to be following a bit of where the old railway used to go. So this is the Silver Hill Trail. Let's have a look and see what it says about the Silver Hill Trail then. Welcome to the Phoenix Greenways. The Silver Hill Trail is one of a network of trails that make up the Phoenix Greenways. So, the four and a half mile Silver Hill Trail is multi-user and shared by walkers, cyclists and horse riders. The surfaced route makes it easily accessible for prams, pushchairs and wheelchairs too. It links to the Five Pits Trail at Tibshelf Ponds and to the Plesley and Teversal Trails and Archaeological Way, so there are miles more for you to explore. I began to head along the Silver Hill Trail, which was leading me in a northeasterly direction. Just on my way back towards Tibshelf now. Must be quite nice if you live around this area. Because well, the Silver Hill Trail sort of is running between places like Tibshelf, Blackwell, Newton. People who live in those villages. And it's a great sort of place to walk your dog. I just saw a guy that passed me just now with his dog and his dog dribbled all down my trousers. <laughs> yeah, I've had worse things done to me. But uh, seen a few cyclists as well. But yeah, it's supposed to be quite nice for like a nice gentle afternoon stroll really.
Having followed the Silver Hill Trail for just over a mile, I came to a signpost, at which point I would be turning left. So this is where I leave the Silver Hill Trail now. Bye bye Silver Hill Trail. It's been nice walking along the stretch of you. <laughs> but I'm now going to take this path that goes through the woods towards Tibshelf via the ponds. In 1984, Tibshelf Ponds became one of the first Derbyshire County Council schemes to form a nature reserve from a disused colliery site. It lies at one end of the Five Pits Trail, a five and a half mile off-road surfaced route for walkers, cyclists and horse riders, and it runs from here to Grasswall Country Park. It's been quite a few years since I was last at Tibshelf Ponds. Again, I think this is the first time I've been here in my own time. Because in the past, I've always been here when I've been working in the area. I remember that because when I've had my works van, I've parked there in the car park by the ponds and had my lunch. But I'm sure this is the first time I've actually been here. There's nothing to do with work, which is nice. Yeah, it's a very pleasant spot. So now, I'm going to give today's shout out. And I'm going to say hi to Martin and Michelle. Hi both of you, hope you're well. Now I think I met Martin and Michelle. It was early this year, I think it might be January, February time. Can't quite remember exactly, but uh, I do remember it was a very nice Sunday afternoon. And I went for like a, a late afternoon drink in some of the pubs with my friends. And we were outside one of the pubs, just chatting with someone that we know. And all of a sudden, Martin and and uh, Michelle walked between us and Michelle looked at me she said you're the guy on the telly that does the walking videos she said <laughs> or words of that effect <laughs> and like you know again my friends were like taking the mickey out of me because I've been recognized <laughs> so, but it was nice it was really nice so um, they went into one of the pubs that we were standing outside and then uh, later on I managed to have a bit of a chat with them which was nice so Martin uh, yeah, they, they live quite close to me actually, they're not too far away from me, but they were a nice couple and uh, they were having a few drinks in Matlock on the Sunday afternoon and just sauntering on their way home, it was nice, so I say, hey, when you get a nice day like that, there's certainly worse things to be doing than having a few drinks. So yeah, lovely to meet you both Martin and Michelle and I'm sure I'll bump into you again at some point. Walking eastward from the ponds, I turned off the main track to follow a path linking me to another trail of the Phoenix Greenways. I'm on the Five Pitch Trail now then, but I'm only walking a very short section of it today because I'm just heading back into Tibshelf where I started the walk. So, But hopefully next time or another time whenever, I'll try and explore a bit more of the Five Pits Trail. <laughs> 